Hello everyone and welcome to another highlight lighting tutorial and today we are happy to introduce to you our new Zigbee Smart Dimmer Switch. Now this dimmer switch is not like most conventional dimmers. It can work with a two wire connection with no neutral lead or a three wire connection with a neutral lead. It has an advanced microprocessor control with an algorithm of smart light source detection. Designed to operate only with trailing edge mains dimmable LED drivers. And it also has an inbuilt Zigbee protocol. So depending on the type of wiring that you'll be doing, for a free wire connection, you have of course your live input going in, then you have your load output coming out, and you have your neutral cable over here. Now most conventional dimmers will have a two wire connection system, so you will have your live in and your load output. Now with the Knob Smart Dimmer, in order to be able to have a two wire connection system, you have to create a link between the live and the neutral. In that way the inbuilt microprocessor will be able to switch from a free wire to a two wire connection and it will simply look like this. Okay so for this example, I'm gonna be using a 24 volt LED strip um, and therefore we will be using a um, trailing edge uh, 24 volt LED driver, okay? So you wanna go ahead and power up everything and the light will blink uh, twice and um, which shows that the dimmer is in the process of um, understanding which wiring connection you will be using, okay? Now we're ready to set up the smart dimmer. So you wanna go ahead and just increase the brightness level, okay? And the first thing that you wanna do really is set up your minimum level. So the minimum level to which your dimmer will be able to dim to without turning off. So in order to be able to do that, okay, as you can see it's gone off, okay? So we wanna set, let's say this as our minimum. So that's the lowest to which um, we'll be able to dim the dimmer switch. You wanna press and hold the minimum reset button for three seconds. One, two, and three. And as you can see, the light flash once. So if we go all the way up, and now we dim all the way down, it should stay onto our minimum level. As you can see, I'm dimming, but it's not going off because we set our minimum level. What um, can be quite useful as well, that you can set up is your startup level or your fire up, which is the minimum, let's say, amount of power that the driver will need to fire up and to light up your um, LED light. So in order to do so, you can set your startup level to maybe this level here. And all you have to do is to press the reset button twice which is the one on the right hand side. So you wanna go ahead and press it twice. One, two, and as you can see the light blinked, which means that if you were to dim this here to the minimum level, okay, and you turn it off, and you go ahead and turn it back up, in the eventuality that your minimum level is very low, um, it would just use that level to start up the LED light, okay? Now, as we said previously, this um, smart dimmer switch does have a Zigbee protocol, which means that you can use it to connect to um, any smart hub that does have an inbuilt um, Zigbee protocol. So for this example, we're gonna connect to the Amazon Alexa, which has a Zigbee inbuilt. And to do so, you wanna open up the um, Amazon Alexa app. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now you wanna go ahead and tap the three lines on the top left of the screen. Then you wanna go ahead and tap add device. You now want to tap light. Scroll right down at the bottom of the screen and tap other. Now before you go ahead and tap on uh, discover devices, um, you will have to turn off the smart knob uh, dimmer switch um, simply because you have a 15 seconds window after being powered up and then you can go ahead and tap on discover devices. Now, the application in itself is a little bit slow to catch up, but you might have noticed that your light has already blinked twice, which means it has already connected to the Amazon uh, Echo Plus. And that is uh, basically it, one light found and uh, connected. So we can go ahead and uh, set up the device. 
and then you have the option here to add your light to a group if you want to keep your devices organized but we're just going to skip this step for the purpose of uh, the tutorials but you do have a lot of features that you can use yeah, you can go and have a look if your light has been added successfully as you can see here we are our second light and you can rename your light to your preferred name afterwards so let's go ahead and test the voice command alexa switch on the second light for me please okay alexa can you increase the brightness to a hundred percent for the second light please Okay. Alexa, can you dim the light of the second light to 10%? Okay. Now let's say you want to pair our Zigbee single color remote control to our smart dimmer. To do so, you will have to first add the remote control to the Amazon Echo Plus for the application. Now you want to make sure that your remote control has been reset and it has not been paired with any other control in the past. So you want to press and hold the power button and then when the light indicator comes up you want to press the power button five times and then it should flash to indicate that the remote has been successfully reset now go back onto the app tap on the three lines on the top left tap on to add device then you want to go on and tap on switch this time then after that you want to go right at the bottom and tap over now you want to keep your remote control close to you because now before you go into the next step you want to press and hold onto the power button of your remote control until the light indicator comes up then you want to go ahead and tap on s1 and then go ahead and tap on discover devices now this is a key step that must be done in order to ensure that the remote control pairs to the Zigbee um, smart dimmer switch without undoing the previous pairing to the Amazon Alexa. Once it's done, one switch is found and that is basically it. You can double check if the switch was actually added but it doesn't actually add any functionality so per se to the um, Amazon Echo Plus. So you want to go ahead now and pair it to the Zigbee device. So after adding our remote control to our Amazon Echo Plus, um, it's now time to add the remote control to our Zigbee Smart Dimmer Switch. So the first thing that you want to do is to power off, then power back on your LED light, and then you will have 15 seconds. So you have to wait 15 seconds before starting with your touch link commissioning, okay? So we're just gonna wait roughly 15 seconds. It's very important that you do wait the 15 seconds in order to be able to um, successfully pair the remote control with your smart uh, dimmer switch. Now 15 seconds have gone past. Now let's go ahead and um, power up the remote control. Press the zone that we want, for example zone 1. Then press and hold the power button on your remote control. And then once it blinks, go ahead and press S2 and then just Keep the remote control very close to the smart dimmer switch and as you can see the light will flash which indicates that our remote control has now been passed successfully to our smart Zigbee dimmer switch. So we have now completed the setup of our um, smart Zigbee dimmer switch so we can go ahead and try and use our Alexa. Turn on the light for me, okay. as you can see, then we can use the remote control to turn it off or to adjust the brightness. So I'm just going to go ahead and power up my remote control and let's say I'm just going to power it back off. And as you can see, it controls the light and then we can go ahead and maybe use the remote control, power it back on and we can use our smart dimmer switch to adjust the brightness. And then we can also power it off and then we can ask Alexa turn on the light for me okay 
So this is how you set up the smart demo switch. For more information, you can visit our website, highlighting.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.